Hi everyone, welcome to Reverie Hill. My name is Hillary and today's project is inspired by earrings. So if you are anything like me, you are into all things wearable art and earrings definitely fall into that category. So if you're like me and you're an avid collector of earrings, the problem arises where you kind of run out of places to put them. So today I am going to show you how to make for yourself an earring holder. It will be on a much smaller scale than this, but obviously you can see you can scale this project up to much more grandiose proportions. So join me today for this project. Okay, so the things that you're going to need for this project, I have my my picture frame, any frame will do, uh, gold tone spray paint, I have my tin snips or anything that cuts metal, I have wire cutters, I have my wire, a sharpie pen to make marks on this metal mesh and you're going to want to go to Home Depot or go to Home Depot online where they actually have this bronze tone. Um, but you're going to want the kind that has these larger dots and the tinier dots and you'll see why uh, it just it works better for being an earring holder. Okay, so let's get going. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is take the glass and backing out of your picture frame. And be careful as you're removing that. Okay, and then we are going to go and spray paint this. Okay, so after you've shaken your can, you are going to go ahead and spray it gold so that it matches the inside mesh that we're going to be using. Okay, so now I'm going to take that glass piece and we're going to use it as a template on this metal mesh and I'm actually going to line it up at the top of this just so that it's one less place that I'm going to have to cut. And so then with your Sharpie, go ahead and just mark around it. Okay, so now you're just going to go ahead and cut on those lines that you just made. Okay, so now that we have cut our mesh, we are going to flip our frame over and we'll just pop that mesh into place and start bending down all these little tabs. Okay, and now we're going to put the hanger on the back. Okay, so I used my wire and my wire cutters and I cut this piece of wire that I threaded through one of the tinier dots and then I came up through a larger dot. So starting on the back side, I threaded my wire through one of the tinier dots on this grid and it comes through and then you thread it through a larger dot right there and then the end of that wire comes back out on the other side and what we're going to be doing let's see if you can see this is twisting this around this longer wire so I'm gonna go ahead and just twist it and you can even just use your fingers because this really is fairly easy to bend okay so now that I've done that and maybe I'm going to use this to just kind of bend that sharp bit 
down. Okay, so now I just kind of eyeballed it and I saw I probably want to attach it somewhere over here and then I allowed myself about an inch and a quarter extra in order to work with. Okay, so I'm sending it through that tiny hole through the back side of the frame. I'm flipping it over to the right side of the frame. And I take this extension, and I'm gonna send it right back through one of the larger holes. Flip it to the other side. I'm grabbing my pliers now. And I'm just grabbing it, and I'm gonna kind of pull it through so that it's somewhat taut. And once again, I'm just going to wrap this around. And you can do this more nicely and tightly, but this is just a little makeshift hanger for this. All right, so once you've completed all those steps, you now have your completed project and you can hang it wherever you so choose. And as you can see behind me, uh, sometimes there's certain earrings that call for another type of hanging. So, as you can see behind me, these are hung on rods. So you can do something very similar to that on this project that we've just created. And all you have to do is put the wire through the front and tie it off in the back. And then you can hang these type of earrings on it. Thank you so much for joining me for this project. Have a good day.